going to talk about a little bit about something that probably a lot of people suffer from, including myself, is lower back pain. Okay. Um, and Jenny is the expert. And uh, when somebody comes to you and they say, ha, oh, uh, I have lower back pain, um, what is, how can you help them? Okay, um, lower back pain can be a lot of different things. Um, there could be a um, position in their pelvis in which they are anteriorly tilted. So that means kind of um, belly kind of sticking out. So the pelvis is rolling forward and the belly is kind of sticking out rather than the sacrum tucking underneath themselves. Um, there can also be issues with the vertebrae, some twisting going on. Um, the sacrum could be twisted. So there's a lot of things that can happen in that particular area. So part of it might be having to go see a chiropractor to get an adjustment in that area in order to get some immediate relief. Um, but in where I come into play is more if that pelvis is either anteriorly tilted or sometimes it can be laterally tilted. So one pelvis could be up higher than the other one. Um, and as I said, also can be rotating backwards. And I would work more with the soft tissue part of it rather than the bones that a chiropractor would work with. So with massage therapy, people would come in and say, I have low back pain. Can you just give me a nice massage and help ease the tension there? And as a registered massage therapist, yes, I can do that. And you will get some temporary, temporary relief as a result. However, you may find that, you know, after a few days or a week or two, it seems to come back again. Yeah, that, uh, that's, yeah. Yeah. And that's what happens. <laughs> yeah. So you kind of go on this, you know, continuous treatment of coming in every week or every two weeks to get a massage to just have those symptoms release, relieved. So I'm also a certified structural integrator. And so what I do in that role is look at the position of your skeleton and look at where the source of the problem is in creating that pelvic tilt, whether it's anterior, posterior, one is higher than the other. Some of them can be rotated, one going forward, one going backwards. So what I do is I look at those positions of those bones and how can I adjust the soft tissue in order to get everything balanced? And quite often, it's not necessarily where you think the problem is, your lower back. Um, it can really come from places like your inner thigh. It can come from the position of your lower legs. It could come from the position of your feet. And I know this sounds crazy. Why are you looking at my feet when it's my pelvis that hurts or my backside that hurts? Um, and one of the founders of structural integration or the pioneer of it, her main um, slogan, I guess you could say, is where you think it is, it ain't. With structural integration, I am looking at not only the position of the bones, but how the fascia system is pulling on those bones and what is pulling your pelvis into an anterior tilt. So, um, and that is where I would start to go and do the release. And quite often, as I said, that pulling down can come from the inner thigh and the feet and the lower legs. So I look at the body as a whole and how can we resolve your lower back pain once and for all for the long term rather than having you come back every week or every two weeks right for the so rest of your life that's 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 what from what I understand like that's what I would like that's yeah. why I'm interested very much in what you have to offer and you said um that your um certified in structural integration that's called anatomy trains structural integration the school is called anatomy trains so there's about a dozen different schools in the united states um and probably a few around the world as well there's none in canada um 
that instruct uh, students or therapists in structural integration. So um, this is just kind of the brand name, I guess, okay. per se, for the modality. Um, but the modality is something completely different than massage. Yes, yes. Okay, so, so uh, if we want to have a long-term um, relief from back pain, then really uh, a structural integration would be a lot more uh, effective than the massage here and there, or even the chiropractor here and there. Uh, kind um, of. Yeah, um, you know, if you want instant relief, um, I would definitely recommend going to a chiropractor because some of that twisting can um, be extremely painful to the point yes. that you're on your hands and knees and can't move, you know? So you want to get out of those positions as quickly as possible. Right, <laughs> if, right. If it's that severe. You can't wait for months. <laughs> no, you can't wait for months. So if it's that acute, um, then I would definitely recommend going to a chiropractor so that you can get it dealt with right away. Um, what I'm dealing with more is the more chronic issues. Okay. So um, helping you get out of that for the long term. So would you have a tip maybe that I could do myself at home? Let's say I'm gardening, I'm on my knees, I'm bending down a lot. Uh, is there anything I can do to um, maybe prevent or at least alleviate my, my back pain? Sometimes it's really hard to do on your own initially anyways until you go through the 12 series because your body is already pulling you in one direction um so to teach your body to go in another direction is really difficult because the subconscious muscles that are firing is the, what is pulling you into those um unideal positions so if you start consciously thinking about moving your body into another position, you're going to inhibit the muscles that are there for kind of everyday movement and not necessarily for stability. So if you start uh, incorporating the everyday muscles um, for your everyday movement, I should say, then the one, the muscles that, and the, and the soft tissue that is meant for holding your position just get weaker and they don't fire so yeah so i would recommend going through the 12 series first um and then you can be more acutely aware of what's happening with your body because most of us are just living up here and we have no idea what's going on down here a lot of it is not just coming from oh the the 10 minutes that you're gardening or the hour or the afternoon that you're gardening a lot of it is coming from your everyday positions and how you're sitting on the couch day after day after day or how you're sitting at the office um for eight hours a day five days a week or six days a week so the the four hours that you're working in the garden one afternoon for the entire you know that year um is <laughs> is, is not going to be the reason why uh -huh. you are coming out it's probably the final straw yeah <laughs> yeah it's probably Makes the sense. final straw Makes because sense. the entire rest of the year you have been sitting um you know slopped all over the couch or or in a really poor position um, at your desk and perhaps not moving as much, you know, especially during this pandemic, we've done more sitting than moving. We haven't had access to a lot of uh, opportunities to move and the weather hasn't really cooperated too much either. So um, in Canada, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so, um, so if, if I want to give you any tips at all, you have to think about how your body is being stacked. So the skeleton was built so that the tibia, the lower leg, sits uh, firmly on top of the foot and the femur sits directly on top of the tibia and the pelvis sits directly on top of the um, femur and then the rib cage on top of the pelvis and the head on top of the rib cage as soon as we start losing that disconnection we losing that stack then we start 
um, putting ourselves into various different positions that is going to be a little bit more straining on our body. Um, so it's okay for a few minutes here and there, but if you're doing it for 40, 60 hours a week, um, it's going to start to be a part of who you are. Um, so that is one thing that I do teach uh, and cue my clients to learn is to see how you're stacked. Thinking about the bone on top of the bone off of the bone instead of you know, the, the back going one way, the pelvis rotating another way, the femurs turning in this way, the tibia is going that way. Um, and as soon as that's, those changes start happening in our skeleton, it puts a lot of stress on the body and it requires a lot of energy to hold your body up in those positions. And you get exhausted, you get tired, you get sore. <laughs> and four yeah. hours in the garden is is like i said it's the just, final yeah, straw yeah yeah okay well that that mm -hmm. that clears it up now yeah okay so structural integration is a new modality it's uh, well it's a different modality than just uh, than a massage therapy right yes um okay. <laughs> it's you know ida rolf who is kind of the pioneer of structural integration she was doing it in the 60s and the 70s, maybe even earlier than that. Um, and she has taught a number of people and now those people are out in the world teaching more people and, and so on. Um, so it, it is not a modality that has come, um, that is prevalent, I will say, in Canada all yeah. that much. Um, you'll see it more in the US, uh, in Europe, a um, couple places in, in Asia, but you know, Canada, we're behind the eight ball. So, <laughs> so I'm, I'm happy to be one of the people bringing it to Canada. There's very few of us here that are doing it. Um, why is that? It's an expensive course to take. It's uh, out of country that you have to go and do this. It takes a lot of time and commitment. So it is new to Canada. Yes, it's not new to the rest of the world. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you for that clarification. <laughs> so, so if somebody wants to uh, get hold of you, then uh, and and explore uh, the structural integration and see if it, it's a fit for them, how do they get hold of you? Uh, yeah, you can uh, contact me directly on my cell. My number is four zero three eight six zero two eight four three. And then I also have a web page that um, goes into some more description of about the modality, which is my name, jenniferdeclerc.ca. Well, thank you so much. And um, I'm, I'm sitting taller. I don't know if you noticed since you were yes. and I have to <laughs> stack my my bones on top stack of each your bones. other. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm, I am too, actually. Yeah. I'm noticing I'm sitting up on my sit bones, keeping my pelvis uh solid into the into the couch so i'm not slouching <laughs> yeah <laughs> well thank Rick you so much. <laughs> thank you jenny okay you're welcome thank you bye-bye bye-bye